Welcome to Yoga Stretch. My name is Katie. Today we're going to think about our intention for our yoga stretch today. Now some people come to class and they want to stretch out any tight spots. Other people come to clear their mind and others come just to try the yoga out. Now just choose one thing that you want to get out of your class today. So let's pause for a moment. Just close your eyes and just think about what you want. Try to choose one thing only and repeat it to yourself. All right, have you got that one thing? Let's take a seat. So just sitting with the hands on the knees or in the lap, just going to pause for a moment, lift up the rib cage, draw the waist in and relax the shoulders down. So we want to just let our mind calm down a little and bring it to the present by focusing on our breath. So breathe into the rib cage. Think about how much you can expand your rib cage out with your breath in. Bring your breath down to your belly. your breath up to your shoulders, into your back, breathe out, then breathe down to the belly, into the rib cage, into shoulders and back and breathe out. Let's take another deep breath in at your own pace. Let's open the rib cage up a little bit more. Breathe in, arms over the head, gaze up at your fingers. Eyes can stay closed. Breathe out, hands to sides. Breathe in, reaching up and breathe out. Lower the hands down. And let's do that three more times. Finish your last one. Now bring your hands to your knees and let's breathe in, lift the shoulders up really high and breathe out, draw them downwards. Breathe in, lift them up really high and draw them downwards. Let's do that three more times. Now let's do a seated cat-cow pose. So let's breathe in, breathe out, draw the navel to spine, arch into the back, drop chin to chest, and breathe in. Nice big stretch in the chest, tug the shoulder blades together, breathe out. Navel to spine, drop chin down, breathe in, open the chest, and let's keep going. And last one, open the chest right up and breathe out, come to a neutral position. So let's do a twist. Breathe in, lifting the arms up and breathe out, hand on knee, other hand behind the back and lift the rib cage up. Turn the head to look just in front of the shoulder, drop the shin slightly towards the collarbone. Breathe around the rib cage. And then bring yourselves back around to the front to change the cross of your legs. And let's lift those arms up again. Breathe in and breathe out. Twist. Lifting up through the ribcage, shoulders are down, look in front of the shoulder. And then bring yourself to look at the front again. Now let's extend those legs forward and just bring your hands, turn them into knuckles and just have them by your sides. 
lifting up nice and tall through the spine. Keep the elbows a little bend, tummy in. Now we're going to lift one leg up at the time. Okay, so breathe in and breathe out. Lift one leg, breathe in to lower. Change legs, lift it up, lower it down, changing sides, and lift and lower. Now one more time each side. Okay, so that's a nice preparation for our boat pose. So let's walk the heels a little bit closer, hands behind the knees, lift up the ribcage, draw the shoulders down, draw the waist in, come up onto toes and walk them a little bit towards your hips so you're leaning back a little. Then lift one foot up and then the other. Now hold your legs if you find you start to work into hips, otherwise extend the arms forward. You can also extend legs up to the ceiling if you want to and it's comfortable for you to do. Let's take three breaths here. Then lower your feet down, lower your hands down, and we're just going to roll our knees to the side and come into a cat pose. Stretch the fingers out nice and wide. Now we're going to rock forwards and backwards to stretch the wrists. So let's breathe in forward. Can you feel that stretch in the front of the wrists? And rock back. We don't have to go back too far. You can sit down, breathe in, stretch the wrist, then breathe out. And let's do that again. Nice big stretch. And two more times. Just pause and stretch. We don't often stretch our wrists, so this is a good opportunity to work into the wrist gently. Now take your hand and just Rest it down and stretch the other way. So we need to stretch our wrists both ways. Let's try with the other hand. All right, we're coming into child's pose now with our arms extended forward. So toes together, knees wide, extend your arms. Stretch your fingers out nice and wide, and now we're going to walk our fingers closer together. We want to walk them close enough so our thumbs touch. From here, we're going, we're going to rotate our palms. So lift the thumbs up to ceiling, point them outwards, and the palms should face the ceiling. Now you can feel your shoulder blades flatten on your back if you keep your shoulders drawn right away from your ears towards your hips and then rotate your palms to the floor again, touching those thumbs, and then rotate so the palms are upwards. Try to get your thumbs to rotate out really wide, almost touching the floor. And then rotate again, palms on the mat, and one more time, rotate palms up to ceiling. Then flatten the palms down on the floor again, and let's take three breaths into our back. Try to breathe into the whole back with your breath. Elbows lifted or elbows on the floor. Okay, beautiful. Let's lift up onto elbows. Now what we're going to do is go into a little dog. So the knees need to line up with the hips and we're going to extend the arms forward. Now ideally the chest touches the floor and the chin is on the floor and you look forward. If you can't quite manage that, just place the forehead on the floor. Have the arms, the elbows lifted if you can. If that's too strong, lower them down. Okay, now keep the chest wide open. This is a beautiful chest stretch. And keep the shoulder blades hugging at the back. So let's take three breaths here. Okay, lower the elbows down and let's have the elbows just lined up with shoulders. Turn the hands into fists or you can clasp the hands together. We've got a dolphin. So tuck toes under, lift the hips up and look between your ankles. Now you want to be resting firmly on those elbows and try to have those shoulders near the hips. Now you can look between your legs or gaze at the floor. It depends on the comfort of your neck. So pick a position that your neck is quite happy in. 
Now step your feet a little closer and lift your right leg up. Squeeze your buttocks firmly, have toes pointing at the floor. Let's change legs, put the feet together, lift the other leg up, squeeze your buttocks firmly, try to lengthen through the leg. Place your foot down, lower your knees down, and rest in child's pose. So toes together, knees a little wider, <coughs> and link your fingers, forehead down, bring your elbows forward, and then bring the hands behind the back of the neck. Now, if you walk your elbows a little bit further forward, you will get a nice big stretch in the back of that upper arm. Breathe into your back. Okay, lovely. Let's bring the hands down and lift ourselves back up into a cat. Now take your right foot forward and walk your hands up to your knee. <clears throat> Let's move the hip forward so that ankle is lined up with the knee. Now we're going to bend sideways, so let's take this right elbow on the knee, palm up, close it into a fist, and lift the left hand up, up to the ceiling, and bend over to the side. Keep your shoulders down, away from ears. Now you can have a hand behind the head if that's more comfortable for your shoulders. Now you should feel a good stretch in the side of the body. If you want to, you can take your hand that's resting on your knee and reach it down to the floor. Take three breaths. Now windmill your arms back the other way and come into lunge twist. Take your top hand, bring it a bit wider, and then reach the fingers up to the ceiling. And let's pause here for three breaths. Remember to keep the shoulders drawn down and shoulder blades stacked. Lower your hand down, step your front foot back, and let's bring the knee forward, the other knee. Walk up the leg. Move your hips forward, stretch into the hip, and then let's rest the elbow on the knee, keeping the shoulders down. Now lift that right hand up and over, chin tucked in, lengthen through the arm or hand behind the head, drawing the shoulders down. This is nice and comfortable for shoulders, otherwise you can extend the arm. Now if you want a little bit more, lower that left hand down to the floor or anywhere near the floor, just in that general direction. Take three big breaths into the side of the body that's open. And lifting up, place your hands down, then bring your front foot back, and we're going to lift up into down dog. Take the toes under, lift hips. Now just move from side to side, loosen up the shoulders and the hips, and then let's walk the heels up and down, stretching the ankles. Now lower the heels towards the floor, draw the shoulders towards your hips and draw your navel up, chest towards thighs. Press through the base of the thumb and index finger firmly down, working the insides of the arms and the back of the upper arms. Take three breaths here. Now walk those feet to the hands, so the feet are hip width apart and hold your elbows, chin to chest, draw the navel up, have the knees a little bent and move the elbows and the torso side to side so we can stretch into the lower back.
Bring yourself to a standstill and move your head forward and backward in a yes movement. And side to side in a no movement. Hands on shins. Let's take a deep breath in, sun salute. And as we lift up, let's reach up to the ceiling and rise up onto the balls of the feet. So you don't have to lift your heels very high, but reach up nice and tall. And then lower your hands down. Let's lift up again onto the toes, breathe in. Lift up. And bring your arms back down again. Hands to chest in prayer, deep breath in and out. Let's do two rounds of sun salute. Feet together, lift your toes up, spread them out. Try not to have your feet right next to each other, a little bit of space between the bones. Squeezing the buttocks a little, tummy firm, thighs firm. Lift up the shoulders to ears, roll them back and draw them downwards. Make sure the back of your neck is comfortable. Stretch the fingers down and reach the hands towards the floor. Drawing the shoulders down was just a little. Now let's think about that intention that we set right at the beginning of the class. Bring that back into your mind and repeat it. My intention is to whatever, and in my case, to have a calm mind. And let's see how we're going. Just check in with what your intention is. Take three breaths into the rib cage. And take a deep breath in. Sun salute and swan dive, forward fold. Flat back, lengthen through the spine and breathe out, forward fold, step back into a lunge. Okay, so flatten the foot. Walk your hands up to your knees. Now you can stay here. This is our level one hip stretch. Or you can keep your hands down, your fingers on the floor, slide shoulders towards hips and look forward. Quite a strong position. If you can manage to maintain this, take three breaths. Then flatten your hands down. Tuck your back toe under, front foot back into plank. Let's breathe in, breathe out, plank to floor or knees and chest down. Cobra, just lift your head, your chest and draw your shoulders towards your hips. Squeeze your buttocks firmly, lift the right leg up, lower it down, lift the left leg, lower it down. Make sure you squeeze your buttocks to lift your leg and one more time, Cobra. High Cobra, tuck those toes under, come into Down Dog. And just moving from side to side, nice loosening up around hips and shoulders. Crouch, look between your thumbs and use the hinge in your legs to step your right foot, then your left foot forward into forward fold. Flat back, breathe in, breathe out, forward fold, and breathe in, sun salute, lift up. Breathe out, hands down to sides. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, sun salute, breathe out, forward fold. Breathe in, flat back, breathe out, forward fold, and step your left foot back. Flatten the foot down, walk your hands up to your knee, move your hips forward. You can leave your fingers on the floor, slide shoulders to hips, draw the waist in and look forward. Nice big stretch around the hips. Three big breaths into the belly. Place the hands down flat, tuck the back toe under, front foot back into plank. Breathe in, breathe out, plank to floor or knees and chest down. Now breathe into cobra, just lifting the chest up. Now squeeze the buttocks together, can you lift the hands up? This time lifting one leg, lower it down. Lift the other leg, lower it down. Let's do it one more time each side. Lift and lower, lift 
and lower, hands down, breathe in. High Cobra, breathe out, down dog. Moving those hips, shoulders from side to side. And then crouch, bend the knees, look between the thumbs. Spring with your left foot forward, right foot forward. Flat back, breathe in. And breathe out, forward fold, breathe in. Sun salute, lift up. And breathe out, hands down to sides and back to chest in prayer. You should be nice and warm now. Take a deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, so just give yourselves a little shake. And then we're going to do some standing strength. So into mountain pose again, lifting up the rib cage, lifting the crown of head to the ceiling, firming up the buttocks and thighs, drawing the arms downwards. Take a deep breath in, side salute, and breathe out, hands down to chest, coming to chair pose. Take three breaths. And then forward fold, flat back, breathe in, lengthen through the, the spine, breathe out, forward fold, and step back to down dog. Just loosening up around the shoulders and the hips two or three times, and then crouch, and step the right foot forward, lower your back heel down, we've got a warrior one this time, sweep the arms back and lift them up. Roll the shoulders back, draw them downwards. Make sure your front knee is in line with your ankle and that your foot is pointing forward and your knee, your front knee pushing a little bit to the side. Nice firm buttocks. Let's circle the arms backwards. Breathe in and out. So we want to keep this movement nice and slow and at the pace of your breath. Lifting the arms up and now open the hips, coming to warrior two. Squeeze your buttocks together, hips push forward, knees out wide. Lovely. And stretch the fingers out, turn your gaze over your front middle finger and let's take three breaths down to our belly. Now let's straighten the front leg, we've got a triangle. Breathe in, reach forward and breathe out. Triangle down. Now remember to keep the front knee a little bit soft and draw the shoulders to hips. Now squeeze your buttocks together and stretch to the top side of the body. So if your, your buttocks is pushing out the back, you're not going to get the side stretch. So you need to squeeze it, push it in, and we're going to get the inner thigh stretching and the top side of the body. Don't focus on reaching the floor. Focus on stretching the top side of the body. Breathe down to the belly. Two more times. Now take the top arm, circle it to the bottom arm. Bend the front knee, lower the back knee down. We've got a hip stretch. So take your right hand inside your foot, toe heel your foot wider, and then you can slide your left knee away so you can get a bigger stretch. And then bend the elbows or come down to elbows if your hips can manage. And then chin to chest, stretch the back of the neck. Now breathe into your hip that's stretching. So that's your right hip, the leg that's forward. Now lifting up, we're going to take our hand outside the foot, toe heel the foot back into in line with the hip, tuck the back toe under, and we're going to step the back foot next to the front foot. Flat back, breathe in, breathe out, forward fold, breathe in, and sun salute, lift up. Breathe out, hands down to chest, deep breath in and out. Now let's do that again to the other side. 
Okay, now sun salute. And breathe out. Hands to chest in prayer. Chair pose. Forward fold and breathe in flat back. Breathe out, forward fold. And this time we're going to step our right foot back and lower the heel down. Sweep the arms back, lift up. Warrior one. Make sure your front knee is lined up with the ankles. Roll the shoulders back, draw them down. This time we're going to link our fingers, turn them inside out and reach up to the ceiling. Bring down to the belly, keep the spine tall. Now, open the hands out, turn the hips sideways, coming into warrior two. Make sure your hips and chest are facing sideways. Shoulders are down, gaze over your front middle finger. Keep your buttocks squeezed together, hips push forward, inner thigh of the front leg working. Take another deep breath in, and then straighten your leg, we've got a triangle. Let's breathe in, reach forward as far as we can, stretch the inner thigh, so you need to squeeze your buttocks together, push your hips forwards, and let's come into our triangle. Shoulders head towards hips, tummy in. Bring the top arm a little bit wider so we can find the stretch in the chest. Take three breaths here. Now circle the top arm towards the hip and then down to the bottom hand. Bend the front knee, lower the um, back knee down. And let's take the hand, the left hand inside the left foot, toe heel the foot a bit wider. Slide your right knee back to get a big, bigger hip stretch. And you can bend your elbows or come right down to the floor with your elbows. All right. So let's breathe into the hip that's stretching. Okay, and lifting up. Hand outside the foot, toe heel the foot. Back in line with the hip. Tuck the back toe under. Step the back foot next to the front foot into forward fold and breathe in flat back. We've got a chair pose, so sweep the arms back, lift them up, chair pose, white prayer. And then reach those hands up to the ceiling as we breathe in. And breathe out, hands down to chest. Deep breath in and out. And lower your hands down. Give yourselves a little shake. And let's do some balancing. Now we're going to start off with a flamingo. So in order to do that, we're going to roll our right foot forward. Now for level one, keep your foot in this position. For level two, place your foot on top of the other. And for level three feet, bring your toes forward, place the heel above the kneecap. Remember not to push directly onto it. Okay, bring the hands down to sides, pull the tummy in and lean forward. You can bend just halfway or straighten your standing leg and look down towards the floor, lifting your arms to the ceiling in wide prayer. So we're going to move our arms to see how stable you are. Breathe in and breathe out. Lower the arms down, breathe in to lift them up. Breathe out, lower them down. One more time, breathe in, lift the arms up. Breathe out, lower them down. And then bring yourself to a standing position. Kick your foot forward, lower the foot down, and here we are, back in a standing position. Let's try the other side. So roll your left foot forward. Let's find our foot position. Level one, level two, or join me in level three. Now bring the arms to sides, pull the tummy in, bend forward just halfway, or Bend right forward and lift the arms up to ceiling. Straighten your standing leg. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Lower the arms down. Point them at the floor. 
Breathe in, lift them up, pointing to the ceiling. Breathe out, point to floor. And again, breathe in, point to ceiling. And breathe out, point to floor. Start to stand up nice and tall. Kick your foot forward, float the foot down. Okay, beautiful, let's take a walk. Okay, we've got another, another balance, and that's our side wing pose. Now, side wing pose is a little more challenging because if we have tight hips, um, we will find that um, it will be a little bit more challenging than a forward wing pose. So let's have a try. Roll your right foot forward, bring the knee out to the side. Now, tighten your tummy, give your buttocks a little squeeze. Leave your foot here for level one or level two. Lift the knee up and hand behind the thigh. Keep your foot nice and active, so rather than flop it, just toes forward, push through the heel. Okay, from here you can go to level three, holding your big toe with your fingers or holding your foot with your hand. Bring your leg out to the side and lift the other arm up. That's it. Let's take three breaths here. Okay, bring the hand to the hip, bend the knee and place the foot back down again. Take a little walk and let's try that on the other side. Roll your left foot forward, knee out to side, squeeze your buttocks together, lift the rib cage up. Okay, so lifting that knee up, hold the back of the leg, flex the foot. Okay, so level two, now to level three. Hold with your index finger and thumb around the toe or just hold your foot. Extend the leg out, bring the other arm out to the side. Now keep the shoulders down, tummy in. Leg hip height. Three breaths. Okay, let's bring that hand down, bring that leg down. Place the foot on the floor and let's take a walk. Nice work. Now I'm going to turn sideways again. We're going to lunge back and do pyramid and a warrior three pose. So let's bend those knees into chair pose. Lift the right foot up, lunge it back, but not too far for pyramid. So we want to make sure our hips are straight. Both hips are pointing forward and we should be able to squeeze our buttocks together. Take a deep breath in. And breathe out, hands to chest, and pull the tummy in, lean forward. Now I want you to draw your shoulders down, draw the tummy in. Now, if you bend forward, some of you might be able to get a third of the way, some of you are half the way, but I want to see your back really flat. Make sure your front knee is soft. Let's take three breaths here. Now bend your front knee and we're going to lift the back toes off the floor if you can. So just lift it up as high as you can, keeping nice and steady. If you can, hip height, keep the tummy lifted, toes pointing at the floor, buttocks firm. Three breaths. And float your foot down into a standing position. Deep breath in and out. Nice work. Let's start again. Hands on hips, come into chair pose. Roll your left foot forward, lift it up and step it back, not too far. Straighten the front leg. Squeeze the buttocks together and let's take a deep breath in, sun salute. And breathe out, hands down to chest. Draw the shoulders down, tummy in and start to lean forward. Lengthen your spine as you lean a little further forward. Shake the front knee a little bit, don't lock it. So can we have the chin slightly tucked in, just easing yourself down to that parallel to floor position with the torso. So if you can't quite get there, it doesn't matter. Take three breaths. Bend your front knee, lift your back foot up if you can. Just lifting up, squeezing the buttocks. Now take three breaths here. Then 
lower your foot down, come back to a standing position, take a deep breath in and out. Lower your arms down, give your legs a little shake. And let's face the front. All right, we're going to do some chair pose and some twisting. So let's bring the feet together. Mountain pose, lifting up the rib cage. Take a deep breath in, sun salute, and breathe out. Hands to chest, draw the waist in, push your hips right back. Shoulders are downwards. Let's take the left elbow on the right knee for level one. Or level two, elbow outside knee, draw the waist in, rotate through the ribs so the hands are at the centre of the chest. I want you to focus on the weight evenly through the feet. Let's take three breaths in this position. Coming to forward fold, you can walk your heels up and down. Or just rest your hands on your shins. Make sure your knees are a little bit soft. And then sweep the arms back, lift them up, chair pose wide prayer. Breathe out, hands to chest. This time we're taking the right elbow on the left knee, looking to the left side. Level one, level two, elbow outside the left knee. Draw the tummy in, rotate through the ribs, hands at chest. Find the balance in your feet so it's nice and even. Take three breaths. Now forward fold, I'm going to turn sideways lengthways on my mat and step my feet back into down dog. So just moving from side to side, loosening up around the shoulders and the hips. Now we're going to step those feet together and lift the left leg up. Three leg dog, squeeze the buttocks, toes point to the floor. Take three breaths, keeping your back nice and flat. And then lunge your foot between your hands. We have a high lunge. So let's sweep the arms back, lift them up. Roll the shoulders back and down. This is a beautiful balance. Take three big breaths right down to the belly. And breathe it in, breathe out, hands down to floor, front foot back into down dog. And just moving from side to side, nice and gently. And then let's crouch. Oh no, let's bring the feet together. Lift the left leg up this time. Oh no, we're changing to the right leg. Let's not get mixed up. So we swapped our legs over. Just it's nice to have a little change from time to time instead of always using the right leg first. Take three breaths. Breathe in and lunge your right foot forward. Coming into high lunge. So let's sweep those arms back, lift them up, high lunge, wide prayer. Roll the shoulders back, draw them down and sink into your hips. Nice big stretch in the back of the legs. Try not to straighten your back knee. Breathe into the belly, three big breaths. Then open your arms out, lower your foot down, and we're going to bring our feet into a horse stance. So feet are on an angle inwards, bend the knees. All right, beautiful. Now squeeze your buttocks, push your hips forward, bring your knees a bit wider. So we should be sitting back a fair way, lining our knees up with our ankles as much as we can. All right, let's bring our hands to a stop sign position. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend to the side. Breathe in to lift. Breathe out to bend. Breathe in to lift. This time breathe out to bend. You can tap your elbow to your knee. Breathe in and lift up, breathe out and bend, tap the other side. Okay, from here, 
we're going to place the hands on the thighs and rock from side to side. Lift your toes up and then change to the other side. All right, change and change. For those who can go a little deeper, we're going to place the hands on the floor, then stretch a little bit more into the inner thigh. And let's change over. That's it, beautiful. Changing over. Nice big stretch. And one more time, changing over. Okay, now let's lift the hips up. Toe, heel, our feet a little bit closer together for a squat. Bring your hands to chest in prayer. Bring the elbow inside each knee and try to draw the knees out a little. Pull the tummy in, lift the rib cage up. Try to get those wrists in line with elbows. Tail slightly tucked under. And let's take several breaths here. Breathe into your belly, release any tightness around the belly. Now place your hands on the floor. So you want them slightly rotated so the thumbs are pointing towards each other. And we've got a crow pose. Now you don't need to do crow pose. You can lift up on your toes and just rest your knees on your elbows. Otherwise you can lift up with me. Just lifting one foot, then the other. Then lower your feet down, come back into squat. And I'm going to turn sideways and lower my knees down. Flatten the tops of the feet, walk the hands up the legs, and we've got a count. Turn your hands into fists, place them just above your lower back. Draw the elbows behind and hug shoulder blades together. Squeeze your buttocks together, hips push forwards. Chin to chest or gaze diagonally up or lower your head back. Picking a comfortable head position. Lengthen through the spine, try not to put too much pressure into that lower back. Three big breaths around the belly between the navel and pubic bone. If you can do a bigger camel stretch, you can reach down to your ankles Perhaps even tuck your toes under and then reach down, not quite so far to go. And then open that chest right up. Three breaths into the chest. And walk the hands up the back. And let's come into a child's pose. Hands by sides, forehead down. Relax your shoulders towards the floor. Breathe into your whole back, in, in, especially into your lower back. Come into a hair pose by rolling from the forehead to the very top of the head. Now you need to have the back of the neck nice and straight, so move your hips a little bit further forward so we can feel that. Shoulder blades need to stay lifted. Shoulders should be lifted up away from ears. Don't let them sag down. Tummy firm. Lift your arms up <coughs> into wide prayer. You can also press your palms together. Link the fingers and reach your arms up. You can also lift your feet off the floor and just balance on your knees and your head. So lower your feet down, lower your hands down and roll from the top of the head to the forehead. Stack your fists and rest your head on top.
Okay, let's lift up onto our hands and knees now and we're going to do a hip stretch. So let's bring our right knee forward and you know, ideally you're trying to get the ankle in line with the knee but that's often quite challenging. So let that leg go on an angle but bring your toes forward. Slide your left knee back so you can really get a good stretch in the hips. Then come down to your elbows, draw the shoulders towards the hips. Now you can stay here or stack your fists and rest your head on top. Or you can stack your hands and rest your head on top. Or bring your arms forward, keeping the elbows lifted or lower them down. Now slide your shoulders towards your hips so your back is nice and flat and we're not stretching around the neck and shoulders. We're focusing on stretching into that right hip. So breathe down to the belly and into the lower back and feel that hips expand with your breath in. Now lifting up, we're going to do a twist. So let's take the elbow and rest it down. Just turn the hand into a fist. Line that elbow up with your hip. Take your right hand on your hip and rotate through the rib cage, looking in front of your shoulder. This is level one. You can stay here or join me in level two by extending your right arm forward and threading your left arm underneath and resting your head down comfortably, looking under your extended arm. Now lifting yourselves up, now take that right knee back and bring the left knee forward, putting it in the same position as your other leg. And then finding that same position for your arms, perhaps stacking the fist, resting the head on the arms, extending arms forward, just making sure you're not working into your neck. And let's place the right elbow on the forefloor, turning it into a fist. Left arm behind the back, or hand on hip, looking in front of your shoulder. This is a beautiful twist stretch, level one. Level two, extending the left arm, taking the right arm underneath, and just pausing here. Okay, let's lift ourselves up and we're going to take that back leg, bring it forward and come into rod pose. Give your legs a little shake, bring the toes forward, take a deep breath in, lift the arms up, reach up nice and tall, draw the waist in and you'll notice that your arms will come down at a certain length. So if they come down over your toes, you might want to hold the toes, bend the elbows, draw the tummy in and shoulders away from the ears, lean forward. If that's not comfortable, hands on shins. If you can manage and you're feeling quite stretchy, hands around the feet. Now let's pause here for several breaths. Breathe into your belly and into your back. Okay, let's take a walk with our hands up our legs. 
So if you can, you just lie down, or if you're quite comfortable to just swing your legs up, lie down and lift the legs up. Now you can stay in rock pose, or you can lift your legs up into shoulder stand, hands around the back, thumbs around the waist, and rotate your ankles. And rotate them back the other way. Now from here, you can lower your hips down, bring your feet to the floor and roll up into a ramp, and that's our level one. For level two, you may wish to challenge yourself a little bit more by making sure your fingers line up with your hips. Then bend one knee, land the foot down, then the other and you're going to come into a ramp position in that way. Now let's bring the arms over the head. Take some nice big breaths into the belly. Then lower your hands down. Roll your spine down one vertebrae at a time. That's it, beautiful. And bring the knees to the chest. And just rocking from side to side two or three times. And then let's out, bring our arms into a T, lower your knees to one side, place your hands nearest the knee. Just rest them on top and turn your head the opposite way. Breathe into the chest. up to the ceiling and lower them down to the other side, turning your head the opposite way and hand nearest the neck, just rest on top. Now release and let's bring the feet as wide as the mat and drop the knees inwards. You can rest the left hand on the heart centre, right hand on belly. Now, legs can stay in level one position or level two butterfly pose. Let's check that the shoulder blades are flat by pressing elbows in the floor, hug them together, flatten the back down, lift the head up, tuck the chin in, lengthen through the back of the neck. Breathe down to the belly. Extend those legs now. Roll the feet out to the side and roll the thighs outwards. Make sure the shoulder blades are flat on the floor and the hands are in a comfortable position by your sides. Start to relax in your chest, into your hips, legs and right down to the toes. Make sure your jaw is soft and your face is soft. And just focus on your breath for the first two or three breaths. And then let, then let your breath drift off and find its own level. You can turn the video off now and pause for a relaxation for 5, 10 or even 20 minutes. And then turn your video back on and let's finish the yoga session together. So let's move the fingers and toes, breathe down to the belly and walk the feet to the end position. 
and roll to the side. Lift up to a seated position. Just resting hands on knees or in the lap. Lifting the spine up gently. Drop the chin down and relax the shoulders. The hands above the head in prayer. Now breathe out, hands down to chest. Now breathe down to the belly, into the rib cage, shoulders and back and breathe out. Breathe into the belly, into the rib cage, shoulders and into the back and breathe out. And let's take one more deep breath in at your own pace. And have a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind and a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. And if you liked my yoga, press like now and make a comment. Otherwise, subscribe to my channel and join me again for Yoga Stretch. How did you go with your intention? Have you met your intention? Did you reach your goal? Well done. Join me again.